Government officials have visited the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to see if engineers have successfully frozen soil around reactor buildings to block groundwater. Tons of such water seeps into the buildings and becomes contaminated every day. NHK World's Yuki Hidaka has more. State Minister for Industry Yosuke Takagi and other officials conducted the inspection on Monday. They got into a hole and checked the ground. Frost had formed on the surface of the frozen soil. The ground was hard enough to withstand a hammer blow. We were able to confirm that the soil is frozen. Three of the plant's reactors suffered meltdowns after it was hit by a tsunami in 2011. Groundwater flows downhill to the seaside. Right after the accident, about 400 tons of water entered the damaged reactor buildings every day. The plant's operator has built about 1,000 tanks to contain the accumulating contaminated water. It had to replace 300 of them after it found leaks from some of the tanks. Engineers have taken steps to regulate the contaminated water. They dug wells to pump up groundwater. They also installed a steel barrier to keep contaminated groundwater from flowing into the sea. And they are now building a frozen soil barrier. They are circulating coolant in buried pipes to form the 1.5 kilometer long wall. They hope to keep groundwater from entering the damaged buildings and being contaminated with radioactive substances. Engineers started freezing the soil in March. They say the barrier is almost complete. But some experts are skeptical about the project, which is said to cost taxpayers more than $300 million. Officials say the amount of groundwater they pump up each day on the lower side of the reactor buildings has decreased from 350 tons to 100. They say that shows the barrier is working. The government will do its best so that the wall is completed quickly. The president of a company charged with decommissioning the plant has this forecast. I think the work is steadily progressing. I'm hopeful that by February or by early next spring, we can show everyone that the ice wall is proving effective, even if the whole process is not completed. The plan for decommissioning the plant over decades calls for removing most of the contaminated water from the buildings in 2018. Yuki Hidaka, NHK World.